Jeremy Clarkson has revealed one of his biggest regrets, shunning his gilded invitation and not attending the London Olympics. The Clarkson's farm star candidly admitted today that he was expecting two hours worth of wokeness, a technical shambles and crushing embarrassment over Britain being humiliated on the world stage. However, he now feels he was wrong, and 12 years later, after turning on his TV screen for the Paris edition of the event, he quickly branded it much worse. Regrets, I've had a few. And one of the biggest was the moment I declined an invitation to attend the opening ceremony for the London Olympics, he shared in today's column for the Sunday Times. I said no thanks and elected to watch it from behind some furniture on television, but, I think it was the moment when the giant rings, seemingly made of molten steel, began to strut their stuff that I realised the enormity of my mistake. He ended up glued to the screen for a ceremony that he saw as too brilliant for words, and felt stupid and sad for turning down the chance to experience it in person. Highlights for Jeremy had included witnessing Queen Elizabeth II's scene with James Bond, after she formally opened the ceremony. He also loved watching Mr Bean star Rowan Atkinson's cameo in Chariots of Fire, depicting him lapsing into a dream as he and 900 million viewers from around the world gawked at their screens. Based on all of that, Jeremy was feeling excitement when he switched on to see France making its own attempt. However, he was in for a brutal disappointment as he watched tennis aces Rafael Nadal and Serena Williams as they acted as torchbearers, riding dramatically down the River Seine. Branding the Spanish and American pair very un-French and feeling equally bemused at the reenactment of the Last Supper, which made it seem that Peter and John and Judas had all been transvestites, he concluded that the nation had made a fool of themselves. Then there's the question of what great French achievements could be highlighted in the same way that Danny Boyle highlighted the Industrial Revolution and the NHS. Cheese, topless sunbathing, the Citroën 2CV. I suppose they could have done something with champagne, but so far as I could tell, they didn't, he lamented. So what about history? Where was the nod to Napoleon, or all the famous French military victories? Thomas Jolly is from Rouen so surely he knows about Joan of Arc. Apparently not. One social media user exclaimed, There are over 2 billion Christians around the world and many love to watch the games. Why would you make fun and open with that? Meanwhile, the telecommunications company C Spire released a statement on Twitter confirming it was no longer running ads for the Olympics after witnessing it. Pointing out that the Olympic Games are headed for Los Angeles in 2028, Jeremy suggested that the Americans might stand a chance of doing it better. However, he then had a change of heart, quizzing. Why don't we accept that London cannot be beaten?